everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be creating this beautiful RuPaul inspired mermaid look. This look is so easy to do. All you need is a couple of eyeshadows and some patience because you are going to be doing a lot of blending. To find out how to get this look right here, make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Well, how the heck are you? <laughs> Welcome to this tutorial. As you can see, my face is pretty much done and I've already got one eye done and we're gonna be working on this beautiful eye right here. The first shadow we're gonna go in with is Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and we are gonna put that right into the crease as our transition color. We're doing this because it's going to help with the blending process and make everything else that we're gonna put on blend a little more seamlessly. Now we're gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Time Travel. I love this shadow. It is a beautiful teal and it will be the star of our show. We are going to take a Morphe M576 blending brush and we're going to apply that to the crease. And ladies and gentlemen, you gotta take your time with this. You're going to start by applying it in the outer corner of your eye and blend upwards and outwards and continue to blend in your crease. Crease. Key word here being blend. Yes, folks, blending. Your wrists will hurt, your fingers will hurt, but that's okay. Now we're going to take a small flat top Morphe M210 shadow brush and we're going to continue to apply time travel onto our lid, but we're only going to apply it halfway. I do want to make sure that color is nice and prevalent and as bold as it can be. And of course, we're gonna go back in there and blend because blending, once again, is key. <laughs> we wanna make sure that everything looks seamless. Now we're gonna go in with this Canary Yellow eyeshadow from NYX. I don't know the exact name of that color, but I'm taking the exact same Morphe brush that I used before, and I'm gonna apply this yellow shadow into the inner corner of my eye and blend towards the middle and meet that teal color. And once those two colors blend, they are gonna produce this beautiful greenish shadow. It is gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go into my Milani Vital Brights palette and I'm gonna take this beautiful shimmery yellow color and I'm gonna apply that right on top of the yellow shadow because I want it to pop a little bit more. I wasn't quite happy with just the plain yellow shadow. I wanted a little bit of extra sparkle, so. That's what I did. Now I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy. And I'm gonna put this all over the inner corner of my lid. So everywhere we lay down that yellow shadow, I want this glitter to go over top of it. Make sure you take your time with this process because you do want the glitter to be spread out evenly. You don't want big chunks anywhere. And try not to go too far into the teal, but just enough to give you a good accent and because i am bougie i'm going in with my tom ford eyeliner and i'm just going to line my upper lash line i'm not doing a wing here but the only reason i'm doing this is because i needed to hide the lash band because yes ladies and gentlemen i'm putting on falsies and I'm gonna be using these gorgeous eyelashes from Eyelure. I'm gonna slap those on and continue moving along. I'm going back into Makeup Geek's time travel and now I'm gonna work on my lower lash line. So I am taking a Morphe E11 angled brush and I'm stamping that teal color on my lower lash line. After I finish doing that, I am going to take my Makeup Forever pencil brush and I'm going to just blend that out as best I can because I want a nice smoked out effect. I'm gonna go back into that Milani palette now and take that yellow and do the same thing. I'm going to stamp that onto the inner corner of my lower lash line and blend that outwards. So we wanna mimic what we did on top on the bottom lash and just blend that out. 
and of course this look wouldn't be complete until we added more glitter so we're gonna go back into that midnight cowboy uh, glitter from Urban Decay and add that to the lower lash line but just to the inner corner I want this look to be super glowy so I am going into Glow Getter in that Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero highlighter palette. I'm going to highlight my brow bone, the inner corner of my eye, and then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm done. Boom! There you go. That's your final look. Alright guys, and that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, it is all about the blending. Make sure you tag me in your recreations because I would love to see you guys recreate this look. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And you can also connect with me on all of my social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I will link everything for you in the description box below. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.